Oh boy, do we have a topic today, man. Spiritual attacks coming from left, coming from right, every which direction. Before I get into it, y'all, in the go fam, tap the fucking notification bell so y'all know when I upload right away. I'm gonna be uploading daily now, like I said on the last vlog. Second most, if you're new here, hit the sub button. I'm close to 100 subs, nigga. Once we get 100 subs, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably do a giveaway or something, like... Honestly, now that I said it, I'm doing a fucking giveaway at 100 fucking views, nigga. 100 fucking subscribers, nigga. I need three more subscribers. Give me those. We're having a fucking giveaway, nigga. That's my word. Anyways. Into the video. Spiritual attacks. Spiritual warfare. They got the burners to our brains. Actually. All right, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just going throughout my daily life while I make these videos, and I'm going to make myself breakfast. I don't, and if you're, if you hate on my breakfast, bro, I'm eating a fucking apple. If you hate on my fucking breakfast, you're a bitch, straight up. Nah, but, so basically, y'all, spiritual attacks, they can come through people. They could come, like, through just the air. Like, you could get spiritually attacked by somebody in the same room as you. You could get spiritually attacked by somebody across the world. You could get spiritually attacked through words. You could get spiritually attacked just by somebody's cellular fucking body being designed in a way that they hate you, right? So... I said I was going to make my breakfast, but, like, I don't really need to make an apple. And I also don't want to be smacking on the apple during the video. So I'm just going to have an apple in my hand, nigga, because I'm a teacher. So listen, spiritual attacks are becoming more and more common. First, I would say how to identify them, right? How to identify spiritual attack. Okay. Have you ever been just having just a cool-ass day, like a chill day, right? And then at some point, you see something at that day that fucks up your whole mood type shit. And then after that, different things that put you in that same energy perpetually keep putting you in that mood. And for example, you could be feeling uplifted one day and then somebody reminds you of debt or something like that. And then now that you have this fucking monster in your mind, you start going down the rabbit hole, all right, how to fix this debt what to do about it and you start to feel more and more hopeless you know what i mean that is a spiritual attack if you bounce back from that and then someone is continuing to disrupt your energy like somebody else a completely different thing possibly in a different way right you know that you're being spiritually attacked by something bigger than just that person or just that situation because it's happening consistently. What you need to do is equip your fucking spirit guides and your ancestors to protect you, my nigga. If you don't have your team protecting you, you are vulnerable as fuck. And with that vulnerability... This shit all goes back, like, this shit goes to science, bro. I'm not talking on my ass. With that vulnerability, the way that people's cells are charged in their body is going to affect you. If you walk into a room and you're like, oh, the vibe is off, that's science. That's not something that's fake. That can be scientifically measured, a vibe. If you walk into a room and it's positive, vice versa, and it is the same thing. It can be only identified. It can be identified through science, right? With that as backlash, like with that as a background, going forward, just go and do research on that on your own. I'm not about to make this whole video about how people charge their fucking cells with their negative and positive emotions and how it affects the environment and affects everyone else around them. But it's something true and it's something you can look up. Being said, once again, how do you defend yourself from these things? If niggas are literally charging their cells against you 
and working against you in all these different ways. What are you going to do? Well, that's easy, sweetheart. You could charge your energy too. Like, ooh, boy, it gets so deep. It gets so deep. It gets so deep. We're fucking light beings in water bodies, right? I don't know if you've ever seen when they start like playing the frequencies into the water and then the cells start making like geometric patterns and shit, right? Basically, change your thoughts in order to change your body. Changing your body changes everything around you. Literally, that's how you make your little bubble, bro. Like, when you're envisioning shit and using your imagination, there's light bouncing out of your brain, bro. There's waves, there's frequencies coming out of it. That's how we read our brains, from frequencies coming out. We only see a small spectrum, a small part of the light spectrum, right? But the thoughts that we have are tangible, not tangible in the way that we could grab them, but they're, they're recordable. They're something that you could record and see in real life, right? They, we don't know all the ways that affect us. But being said, my nigga, essentially what you need to do is don't get spiritually attacked. I mean, you're gonna. It's a spiritual warfare. You feel me? You're gonna. But as soon as you start yourself, then just don't. Like, it sounds ridiculous, bro. You just don't. Just don't get attacked. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. But even the best of us, we're still gonna get attacked. Even when our guard, as we think our guard is up. We're not always going to have our guard up at all times. When you're in the spiritual attack, bring yourself to the awareness that you're under attack. And use that to pull yourself out of that negative energy and get back into whatever state you were in before. See, like, I'm probably going to make multiple fucking videos on this because I can't really elaborate that well at this point, like... You guys are also watching me on my journey and watching me get used to talking to you niggas like I'm on FaceTime or some shit when there's nobody talking back to me. I'm just smacking on my gun, bro. Don't mind me. Basically, bro. Energetical attacks. When the cells around you have been affected by negative frequencies and they're negatively charged. Positively charge your frequencies. Be strong enough to overpower whatever attack is coming for you. You're probably saying, I'm not strong enough. Well, then Kakarot gets strong enough. We're made up of the shit that we put into us. Physically. Mentally. Spiritually. And we have pretty much dictation over how our body is run. But most of us don't control it. We don't run it. We just kind of let it go with the flow. If you want to make your energy stronger, make your body stronger. Make your body healthier. You know what you need to do. I don't need to tell you what to do. You know what you need to do to make your body stronger. You know what you're not doing. You know why you're weak. You know. I simply just don't have to tell you why you're weak. You know why you're weak. Eating all the wrong shit, talking to the wrong people, focus on the wrong things, listening to the wrong things. You already know. Right now, if you're looking in this black mirror that we call phones, it's probably why you're fucking not strong. Strong enough to protect yourself from the spiritual attacks that come and keep popping your ass left and right. Boy, get fucking strong, boy. Get strong. You see me? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Listen, though. Listen. It's fucking real. This is all shit that can be measured. I'm not just making shit up, bro. If you don't want to call it a spiritual attack, then call it negative energy coming and fucking making you negative. Keep your fucking energy up, nigga. Keep your fucking energy up, bro. You heard? All right, then. That being said, I don't want to make these too long. I keep saying that shit. Put comments in the section about what you want me to make videos about next bro i'm gonna say it again drop a comment about what you want me to make a video about 
next. You feel me? Because I don't got all the ideas, Q, but if you give me a fucking, if you pass the rock, bro, I won't fumble it. You feel me? So, like, give me a topic. Give me a topic. I'll talk about it. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification, and it go fam. Escape.